Hi everyone, my name is Anna Bean and I am on a mission. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be decorating a spread in my big vertical happy planner that I use as my home life planner. And I have some washi tape here that I've picked out. Let's even get that picked up. <laughs> These beautiful blues. And I'm going to use stickers from my summer bundle. And it looks like I only have two more of these left. And so if you want one, <laughs> got to snag it pretty quick. I have boxes chosen from Mojo Jojo Plans, Jewel Tone, Spring, and Rainbow boxes in three different colors. My theme today is a summer theme for vacation. We're going on vacation in August, August 8th through the 10th, headed to the beach with our family and my bestie and her family. So yay, I want to do a beach theme. I haven't used these stickers yet, so I'm pretty excited. And today, as we go on our healing journey together, I want to talk more about happiness. So we'll do that here in a moment. Okay, where do I want to start? I don't know which stickers I want to use. Let's go ahead and get out the stickers that I would like to use. These. This one for sure. This orange is so pretty. So I want orange, pink, and blue. And the seashells are what I'm most excited about. I think I also want to pull some pull these they're so pretty I think I'm gonna use the overlays and these real pretty clusters with the flamingos don't know about the fruit I'll set those aside and what I've got in my mind I don't know if it's gonna turn out very cute but I'm gonna try all right and I definitely want to get started with boxes I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's been a very busy week. Okay, let's get to the colors. This blue, that was so pretty. And then this orange. And this pink. That'll be a fun color com combination, I believe. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to layer some boxes on top of stickers. So I'm going to start with these seashell stickers. Really love this purple color too. this blue one so our healing journey on, our, on my last plan with me we were talking about happiness and how happiness is a choice that we make it's also something we have to work at you know letting those thoughts and feelings and for me particularly it's in the morning time like right when I wake up feel bombarded with all these negative thoughts and and I'm getting to the point where being able to recognize those cast them down and replace them with positive thoughts about myself and I feel like a lot of that is fear-based so, so to really conquer those negative thoughts or placing them with positive you know positive thoughts about yourself and your journey in life uh, I kind of don't like that like that Put the blue and the blue together All in the same row. I'm gonna bring it down here. Let's 
here. Place them with positivity to believe in ourselves, not have fear of the future. And so today we're going to do an exercise that hel helps me greatly. It's something I do pretty often. And when I became a mother, after my son was born, I suffered with postpartum depression severely. And when, when the nurse came in after he was born, she came in and she was explaining postpartum depression. Well, in my mind, I was like, oh, this lady doesn't know who she's talking to. I'm the happiest person in the world. <laughs> and just, you know, completely dismissed what she was saying. Well, it I had suffered with postpartum depression for about 18 months before I finally talked to my, my doctor. I was like, look, there's something going on with me. I'm crying all the time. I, it's uncontrollable. And of course now Bruce is 11, so we're all good now. But I still deal with some, you know, fear issues. Fear of my future, fear of, you know, making a mistake that I can't recover from. Um, fear of what others think, comparison. I mean, so diff so many different things. And I think as women, we tend to do that to ourselves sometimes. So we're going to talk about that today. Hopefully it breaks some strongholds over our, off of our lives. And, you know, I feel like if we can recognize where it's coming from and what it is, I kind of want to do a little monochromatic on these stickers like make them matchy and then if we're equipped with the with tools that can help us to really conquer these things because fear is something we're always gonna we're gonna feel you know fear is gonna happen it's gonna well up in us But we don't have to allow it to dominate our lives. So that's what I'm praying for for us. It's some breakthroughs. Breakthroughs and, and happiness and peace in our lives. A little bit of white out here. And an orange box. I absolutely love having these box books from Mojo Jojo Plans on hand. They're so great. Okay. Now, let's see here. Definitely want to bring in a little more purple. I can do that with these flowers. Look how pretty. They're so pretty. Absolute beautiful watercolors. Okay, I want this one up here. And lately I've been using my big happy planner. In fact, I want this box underneath for. A lot of memory keeping and of course with some list and such but I think I'm gonna change that I think I'm gonna move this planner and make this planner more into my memory keeping planner and then use my catch-all that I'm using now which is classic sized more for just planning chores projects, what I'm organizing that week, what my focus is to um, for around my house, and things of that nature. Because I absolutely love decorating. My big happy planner is definitely my favorite. This vertical layout is my favorite to decorate. I definitely want to incorporate this one for our beach memories. I think I want to do that with a big box. What color? I guess it's more purple than pink, huh? This box. 
box. Down some of these blue boxes. thinking about doing a collage down the spine. I haven't done that in a long time. And I have so many stickers here. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, with this over here, let's use a big blue box. This week has been so busy, I feel like I'm kind of running out of a little bit of steam. So I need to pep up. You know what? Let's read. I also wanted to show you this book by Joyce Meyer. I just got it in the mail. And I'm not very far into it, but I'm already so in love with it. And I'm really, um, I'm really using this as a tool to help me. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and get it on Audible because I can go through an audible book a lot faster than actually reading, but isn't it so pretty? And I love the lion. Ah, oh, love it. Do it afraid by Joyce Meyer. And there's some great sermons on YouTube, um, talking about do it afraid. All right. This is what I want to read today. It's, it's not a whole lot, but it is very powerful. This is something that when I realized I had an issue with postpartum depression, and fear, I immediately went to Psalms 91 and I read it out loud every single day until I gained a breakthrough, until I reached a breakthrough. I just read it out loud. I'm going to read it to you as it is written, but I'm also going to read it to you how I've kind of rewritten it and you'll understand when I get to that point. Psalms 91, safety of abiding in the presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at, my, at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is your, my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Long life. Well, I rewrote this and spoke it in a way of being in the present tense. And I put me into it instead of he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And I believe that dwelling says, you know, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Dwelling, to me, I think about living with, um, trusting in, putting your faith and your hope into, that if you're, if you're trusting in Him, you're 
spending time in his presence, getting to know him, that you're you're living together in a way of a personal personal relationship with the Lord. Psalms 91. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I trust. He delivers me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He covers me with His feathers, and under His wings I take refuge. His truth is my shield and buckler. I am not afraid by the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in dark darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked. Because I made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High my dwelling place, no evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. He gives angels charge over me, to keep me in my, all my ways. In their hands they bear me up, lest I dash my foot upon a stone. I tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent I trample underfoot. Because I love Jesus, he delivers me. He sets me on high because I know his name. I will call upon him and he will answer me. He is with me in time of trouble. He delivers me and honors me. With long life, he will satisfy me and show me his salvation. And I'll copy this and post it um, in the description. So you can read it out loud like that too, because I truly fear that, feel that defeating fear or at least combating fear, I don't know that we ever truly def defeat it completely because it is an ongoing thing that we have to continue to do is when those fearful thoughts arise is to cast them down and remember these things. Remember what God has done for us. Remember that he has made himself a refuge for us, a secret place to hide in. Hallelujah. Yes, and amen. And I want that. I want that freedom. I want freedom from fear and, and worry and anxiety. And it's, like I said, it's an ongoing thing. It's not going to be this, the easiest thing in the world to do, but we can. You know, we can learn these wonderful, precious promises. Let's put some greenery in here, too. This yellow is so pretty. Okay, and I really made these the size to look best on the classic. Well, let's see how it looks on big. Oh, it's great. I love it. I love it. Just a little decorated up a little bit. Oh, so yes, let's take a deep breath together. Release any anxiety that you feel or any tension. Let's just let it go. You know, let's believe that this is the day the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. God is for us and not against us. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I'm going to use a lot of stickers. Oh, that's cute. kind of wish I would have brought this down, but oh well. It's staying put. I love these little bitty flowers too. We've got a big one here, some little birds. And I know it sounds so odd, but even, I hate to even admit this, but going on vacation, I, I, it gets me nervous. I don't know exactly why, but I have to even revamp my thoughts for leaving the house, you know, preparing everything, making sure everything's in order, you know, and uh, I just need to release it. There's nothing to be afraid of, and God tells us that over and over again. And our next our next time together, I'll bring out some more um, 
the scriptures that talks about where God says, fear not, fear not, fear not. I am with you. He tells us not to fear over and over and over again. Don't want to use this one. I think so. What color? Orange. Okay, and I just noticed I used the wrong color orange. Let's see how well this is going to go. Because I definitely want the other color. It's so much brighter. I knew something was throwing me off. <laughs> You are so loved. We're called his beloved. Every time I talk about this with you, it definitely edifies myself. Like it, it's something I feel like we need to remind ourselves every single day to fill up our cup and believe those things that he says about us for them to be true. He's not angry with us or disappointed even in all the mistakes that we make. And I continue to seem to make the same ones over and over again. And Lord, I am praying and praying for breakthrough in those areas of my life. Okay, I think I want to put a couple of different, like a little, some clusters of stickers over here. Put that inside the box. No. I'm going to put it right like that. Oh, how pretty. What with it? Let's see. How about another palm tree? I love these little palm trees. They are so fun. <laughs> I'll put one on this side this time. I think I want to put a little something in there. How about so the parrot? Like he's sitting right there on the ledge. Something in there. That's pretty fun. Okay, let's finish our spine here. Ooh, let's do another shell. The dark one or the lighter one? I'm going to go with the lighter one. This will be fun to punch. <laughs> video to film today too that is going to be I'm gonna pack the mystery bag planner tote I'm gonna pack it up with my um, supplies and such that I want to take to a convention this weekend to the Texas planner babes fiesta convention I'm going to try to travel lighter than normally <laughs> the normal lighter than normal and not overpack like I've done so many times in the past. All right. Let's see, I've got this sand dollar that's a little bit too much brown and brown together. Ooh, let's use this little one. And I am going to use the shells, but I've got an idea of what I'm 
visualizing for the shells. And we'll see how it turns out. I think I do want, hmm, I'm going to use my, oh, wait, I've got all these little ones too. Actually, I think I want to use this Plumeria flower. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I should have used more greenery. Okay, I'm going to add a little more greenery. stem off so I'm really looking forward to seeing a bunch of friends I know I've got some smaller greenery in here it needs to be smaller Here we go. What about one of these? I definitely love these little heart clusters. Let's put a couple of these in here. Little clusters with greeneries, greenery and flowers. I'm struggling with words today. I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm kind of tired. Uh, pray for strength for all of us. Some supernatural energy. Oh, it is turning out pretty cute, huh? Okay. I know I want some of these birds up here. Actually, kind of all around. Some of them are so tiny. Move this one this direction. If you have this bundle, please, or any of my bundles and stickers, please, please, please tag me on Instagram. I love it. I love it so much. I've actually done a pretty good job on my goals this this month with Instagram. I'm going to use them all. You know what? Why not? I knew I wanted to have a lot of stickers on this spread. It's plenty big for everything I need. Let's see, I have three more. I want to put one in here. I think I would have liked a bigger one, actually. Let's see what this big one looks like right there. Might be too big, but we'll see. Oh, I love it. I'll do a little one too. All right, one more. Oh, there we go. One more. I want them to all be together, little clusters. But not like that. There we go. Maybe a little more greenery. These little bitty tiny guys come in so handy. sure if you are not already a subscriber to my happy mail list my happy mail club I will be drawing a winner for this month my goodness just in a couple of days probably Monday 
And you get a $15 shopping voucher to onabean.com. I kind of like that a little bit like that. It's kind of totem polish, huh? <laughs> Yeah, fifteen dollar shopping voucher to onabean.com, and I always put lots of goodies in there, some fun stuff for surprises because I love surprising you guys. I wanted these flamingos for sure, but I really don't know where. Oh, that look kind of goofy. How about a box over here in the sidebar? Is there any square? Any of the square boxes left or any at all? Well, it was just the one. about let's try a long box I could make a list of things I either need to accomplish before we leave or a packing list please tell me that's straight straight enough I'm going to put her right down here. And how about an orange one? Hmm. I really love the orange and purple together. I think I'll see if I can fit a blue one over here too. Oh, guys, I'm on next one of my next bundles. I think it'll be the very next one. I'm not sure yet. It's with a collab with somebody that is absolutely adorable. Oh, she looks cute there. Okay, not much more to go. I, think I would like to try to fit a blue box in here. Oh, that one's kind of cut funny, huh? Oh, that one is too. That's all right. All right, now for the shells. I really like the way this is now. <laughs> so let's see if I mess it up with the shells. Oh, goodness. You know what? I want this tiny little orange flower. little cluster here. I love having these teeny tiny little flowers to use. I really like these too. Okay, we're going to go with a little bit more. Maybe I can make it look less totem pulley. But we'll see. I, I like it. It's fine. How about one more look right here? And then, okay, I thought I kind of want to put something. No, I kind of like how the, this is kind of playing at the top and the bottom. I do want some of these teeny tiny pink flowers. And now I've got a ton more of these. Yes, look at all these flowers. But they're so fun for bullet points. I do want to save some for bullet points too. But there's plenty. There's so many of them. Maybe 
a little flower arrangement. Well, I would love to hear from you. Have you did you go to the beach this summer? We tried to at least once a year. This year, I almost thought we weren't going to be able to, but my husband was like, you know what? No matter what, let's just, let's do this. We need the break. We've worked so hard. Oh, do I like that white space? I'll fill it in with a flower. I kind of like the white space. And it's only three, three days, so I'll be home quick. I used to travel so much for work. I've really become a homebody. I like to be at home. You know, we will have a wonderful time and make memories with our son and our best friends. And yeah. Okay, for the shells. Let's see how this is going to work out. Big one here. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put it here. My idea is just to kind of fill up this bottom part with all of these shells. love these little seashells. They are so pretty and so much fun. And it's a ton of them. Little tweezers here. Oh, probably need to put on my glasses. <laughs> right, guys, I'm so sorry that I'm so quiet today. I hope you enjoy this video anyways <laughs> and that you get something out of it that's what's most important to me is you know this is so much fun I love decorating in my planner and I love doing it with you in this manner more than anything I want us to experience breakthroughs together and today I feel like I'm really in a and I'm in definitely in need of one I'm in need of a breakthrough Fear, so yes, we'll pray together here in a moment. Okay, I think it's kind of coming along cute. <laughs> guy needs a box. What size? Let's use this one. Wait, which ones do I have on this page? Squares. So we we'll use this one. And I'm going to pick his little leg up. Oh, 
without damaging my paper too much. Oh, I have the neatest memory from last year, guys. I We were at the beach, and we like poor days where we like to go. It's nice distance, and I just love the little town. It's precious. I get a golf cart and just drive around, and it, it's, you know, drive to the beach with the golf cart. Well, we were in the, kind of like in the surf, you know, just kind of waist deep, and we were kind of just, you know, digging with our hands, getting the little, you know, the little, um, just finding treasures, you know, and guys, I scooped down and I had a live sand dollar in my hand. It was amazing. Like what, it, that's got to be like one in a million chances, how beautiful it was. It was like this big and, you know, you could just see it, the little, I don't know what it is, but on the back, you know, the fuzzy part or whatever, just kind of moving around. And it was like, wow, there is a living sand dollar in my hand. And of course I released it back. Oh my goodness. It was amazing. It was a miracle. It was so beautiful. All right. I think I'm done. I normally put down bullet points, but I'm, I'm kind of digging this vibe. I think it's super cute. Let's cut it. I'm going to get some bigger scissors. Oh, and I'll need to punch it. Got my little hand punch in here. I'm going to take my time, go nice and slow. Okay. Let's see. How wonderful. This thing is fantastic. I have the um, big Happy Planner Punch as well, but this one is just, it's so much easier to do it this way. And then you know you've, like, you're really on it. Because, just make sure it's definitely pushed all the way up against the edge. Oh my gosh. What have I done? Okay, well, I made a mess. I messed it up with my hand punch, so I went into my office and used the big Happy Planner Punch. You know what, guys? I'm not going to worry about it. I still think it's pretty. We'll see what it looks like in my planner. If there's any other stickers I would like to use. I think it turned out so bright and pretty. It's pretty much what I had imagined. Not my favorite spread, but I sure do like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Yeah, and I'm, I would like for us to pray together here in a minute. Let me get this back in here. This is one of my favorite spreads. It is on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. All right. Let's see if it is super noticeable. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Here you go. Yeah, not a big deal. Father, I lift up my friend watching today. Lord, I pray that you bless her and surround her in favor. Father, I pray that where we have fear or doubts, Lord, that your presence will just come in and help us to increase our faith, to trust and know that you are for us and not against us, to walk peacefully through this day, to lay everything at your feet, every decision that we need to make, big and small. Lord, I ask for supernatural peace and joy today. I thank you that we're on this healing journey together, Father, and I just pray that you continue to bless us and surround us as we dwell in your secret place, in your most, in the most high secret place. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you guys. You make my heart so happy. I pray that you have a wonderful weekend and oh, deep breaths. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.